Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with today's Daily Diary video. As usual, before I, have dis before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the first book of Moses called Genesis, chapter 30. And when Rachel saw that she bore Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children or else I die. And Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel, and he said, Am I in God's stead? Who hath withheld from thee the fruit of the womb? And she said, Behold my maid Bilhah, go in unto her, and she shall bear upon my knees, that I may also have children by her. And she gave him Bilhah, her handmaid, to wife, and Jacob went in unto her. And Bilhah conceived and bore Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God hath judged me, and hath also heard my voice, and hath given me a son. Therefore she call, called she his name Dan. And Bilhah, Rachel's maid, conceived again, and bore Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, With great wrestlings have I wrestled with my sister, and I have prevailed. And she called his name Naphtali. When Leah saw that she had left bearing, she took Zilpah, her maid, and gave her Jacob to wife. And Zilpah, Leah's maid, bore Jacob a son. And Leah said, A troop cometh, and she called his name Gad. And Zilpah, Leah's maid, bore Jacob a second son. And Leah said, Happy am I. And Leah said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me blessed. And she called his name Asher. And Reuben went in the days of wheat harvest, and found mandrakes in the field, and brought them unto his mother Leah. Then Rachel said to Leah, Give me, I pray thee, of thy son's mandrakes. And she said unto her, Is it a small matter that thou hast taken my husband? And wouldest thou take away my son's mandrake also? Mandrakes also? And Rachel said, Therefore he shall lie with thee tonight for thy son's mandrakes. And Jacob came out of the field in the evening, and Leah went out to meet him, and said, Thou must come in unto me, for surely I have hired thee with my son's mandrakes. And he lay with her that night. And God hearkened unto Leah, and she conceived and bore Jacob the fifth son. And Leah said, God hath given me my hire, because I have given my maiden to my husband, and she hath called his name Issachar. And Leah conceived again, and bore Jacob the sixth son. And Leah said, God hath endued me with my, a good dowry. Now will my husband dwell with me, because I have borne him six sons. And she called his name Zebulun. And afterwards she bore a daughter, and called her name Dina. And God remembered Rachel, and God hearkened to her, and opened her womb. And she conceived and bore a son and said, God hath taken away my reproach. And she called his name Joseph and said, The Lord shall add to me another son. And it came to pass when Rachel had borne Joseph that Jacob said unto Laban, Send me away that I may go unto mine own place and to my country. Give me my wives and my children for whom I have served thee and let me go. For thou knowest my servants which I have done thee. And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thine eyes, tarry, for I have learned by experience that the Lord hath blessed me for thy sake. And he said, Appoint me thy wages, and I will give it. And he said unto him, Thou knowest how I have served thee, and how thy cattle was with me, for it was little which thou hadst before I came, and it is now increased unto a multitude, and the Lord hath blessed thee since my coming. And now, when shall I provide for mine own house also. And he said, What shall I give thee? And Jacob said, Thou shalt not give me anything. If thou wilt do this thing for me, I will again feed and keep thy flock. I will pass through all thy flock today, removing from thence all the speckled and spotted cattle, and all the brown cattle among the sheep, and the spotted and speckled among the goats, and of such shall be my hire. So shall my righteousness answer for my for me in time to come, when it shall come from my hire before thy face, every one that is not 
speckled and spotted among the goats, and brown among the sheep, that shall be counted stolen with me. And Laban said, Behold, I would it might be according to thy word. And he removed that day the he-goats that were ring-streaked and spotted, and all the she-goats that were speckled and spotted, and every one that had some white in it, and all the brown among the sheep, and gave them into the hand of the, his sons. And he set three days' journey betwixt himself and Jacob, and Jacob fed the rest of Laban's flocks. <clears throat> and Jacob took him rods of green poplar, and of hazel and chestnut tree, and piled white streaks in them, and made the white appear which was in the rods. And he set the rods which he had piled before the flocks in the gutters and the watering troughs when the flocks came to drink, that they should conceive when they came to drink. And the flocks conceived before the rods, and brought forth cattle ring streaked, speckled, and spotted. And Jacob did separate the lambs, and faces of the flocks toward the ring streaked, and all the brown in the flock of Laban. And he put his own flocks by themselves, and put them not unto Laban's cattle. And it came to pass, whensoever the stronger cattle did conceive, and Jacob laid the rods before the eyes of the cattle in the gutters, that they might conceive among the rods. But when the cattle were feeble, he put them not in. So the feebler were Laban's, and the stronger Jacob's. And the man increased exceedingly, and had much cattle, and maid servants, and manservants, and camels, and asses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let's not shy away from the most powerful passages of this chapter, which is this sisterly uh, rivalry uh, between Leah and Rachel regarding who will give Jacob more sons. In the end, it is Leah, and it is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'll go ahead and look at the family tree of Jacob because he has four women that he has taken to wife and gone into and produced, I believe, 12 sons, correct. So Leah, uh, Leah gives birth to Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, and eventually a daughter, Dina, Jacob's only daughter. Uh, Rachel gives birth to Joseph and Benjamin. Bilhah gives birth to Dan and Naphtali. And Zilpah gives birth to Gad and Asher. So 11 sons, of which Leah gave birth to six. And each of the other three women gave birth to two. And then Dina, of course, as well. So 13 children for Jacob, 12 sons total. And ab over, over four different women. And absolutely amazing stuff here. Um, you know, f for me, reading the Bible again here, the Old Testament, I should say, it's absolutely amazing because... And Jacob is a good man, you know, in spite of his uh, lies in life, he is a good man. He, uh, he works diligently with Laban for the purpose of marrying his daughters and uh, siring children, which is what the kingdom of God is all about, which is seed. And those who love seed and want to see seed grow. Now, as I uh, will go ahead and end the Bible reading here for today, we'll go ahead. I'll go ahead now and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's daily diary video. Since yesterday's daily diary video, I wrote and edited chapter 18 of the Final Testament of the Gospel according to Lord Naren White. I wrote and edited chapter 19 of the Final Testament of the Gospel according to Lord Naren White. I worked at my core. I worked at my chest, and now I've created this daily diary video. And with no further achievements since yesterday's daily diary video. I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Light be with you all. Take care and thanks again.